I'm Darwin Zook with the MLB.com FastCast. The St. Louis Cardinals became the second team to make a formal offer to the Marlins for slugger John Carlos Stanton. The Giants were the first team to bid for the National League MVP. The Cardinals have yet to confirm this, but MLB.com's John Paul Morosi says the offer from the Cards has been made. Now we know it's more than just preliminary. The Cardinals are very sincere. Annually competitive team, we know that. They have the prospects, the type of high-end pitching that the Marlins want. The likes of Reyes and Flaherty and Alcantara. So they've got the right pieces to make this deal. They also have a very favorable payroll in the long term. Stanton also has a full no-trade clause, and there's been speculation as to whether he would accept the trade to St. Louis, preferring instead to be on one of the coasts. <laughs> Former Yankee and now special advisor to the general manager, 43-year-old Hideki Matsui, hosted a baseball clinic Sunday at Columbia University. Much of the talk focused on Matsui's fellow countryman, 23-year-old Shohei Otani. The Japanese phenom is considered to be a two-way player who can pitch and also be a dynamic hitter. Matsui is excited about the prospect of watching Otani show his skills in the majors. So I've only been able to see him on, uh, on TV. He's a good pitcher and uh, he's a good hitter as well. As a baseball fan, you know, looking forward to uh, you know, how he's going to do in the U.S. The MLB Hall of Fame ballot comes out Monday, and some of the featured names expected to be on it include Shipper Jones, Jim Tomey, Omar Vizquel, Andrew Jones, and Scott Rowland. For more on these stories and all the latest hot stove news, keep it locked in to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.